Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sable here and welcome back to our video. So in this one we get Joker with Dark Metal cards, we get EPI with Scythe, and we get Flash with Puppets. Pretty much not really the same team, but we, we get Joker and EPI that we used yesterday. But now instead of Classic Wonder Woman and Crown on Joker, I have Dark Metal cards on Joker and Just like Flash. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna try and kill Flash whenever Swamp Thing uses super move. Oh buddy, did you miss that? Though that also sucks, because he will take longer to get the super move. Oh, he didn't get stunned on Tagging, that sucks. Currently Joker is not really doing much damage. You're gonna see how fast we're gonna kill the clones as the fight goes on. Or the summons of something, they say. Okay, that's a clone summons. That's great. And Flash is getting killed fast. Okay, and the clone will be incoming now. Bro, chill. Whatever, just press super move. And we're in the corner, we're in the optimal spot at this point. And hopefully, the, the only thing that's... Bro, how are you kidding me? He survived, I think, with literally 1 HP just to lose me some time there. Uh, something that really matters at this point is if we get these stuns on the clone tagins and the swamping tagins, because we do have a chance to stun them every single time they tag him. Bro, this is one of the reasons why when they introduced the 7 star system, and even back when they introduced the 6 star system, I would have loved it if they went back and actually upgraded the goddamn passives of the characters. So Joker might have a 100% chance to stun on Tagen. That would be nice. Wouldn't be game breaking, but it would be nice. Okay, how much damage we did here with 40 seconds left? Yeah, hard to tell if Crown did better or if this did better. Really hard to tell, because in those 40 seconds, who knows how much damage we would have done. But yeah, let's move on. And take a look at the reward, too. And over here we got ourselves... Come on, load faster. Oh, Bad Benji Catman Amulet of Tech. I don't need her. It, it's one of those situations. I don't need her, but A, if I needed her, this would not have been a bad drop. Enchant Enchantress is generally speaking an annoying boss, so I have absolutely no remorse here using Beast Boy with puppets. Boy. We're gonna use Martian Manta and Manta here. Martian Manta just extends the duration of negative effects and uh, Manta allows us to get instant infinite power. gonna generate some power here at the start and we're gonna be fine okay that should be infinite power also get her stunned a bit might as well super move here Gonna stun her a bit because I don't want her doing super move, but I want. What? How did she not get stunned? And if she is stun resistant, how did she, did she get stunned in the first place? This makes absolutely no sense. 
If she was stun resistant, both of the stuns should not have worked. If she wasn't, both of the stuns should have worked. What the hell happened there? Excuse me? Bro, that's so weird. Yeah, we're probably not gonna kill this because we missed that huge damage boost that you get in the um, uh, first 30 seconds after doing super move. But yeah, very, very weird here. I have no idea what happens. Maybe she, they left her with some base stun resistance for some reason and that sometimes activates, which sucks. Okay, yeah, it is what it is. This will take more than one fight because since Beast Boy didn't get that head start, he's definitely not gonna kill her here. Also, this kind of shows how strong that thing is the uh, ability to keep combo after super move. Because you're gonna deal a lot more damage on every single third special, and by the point that expires, the enemy already lost half the health. So I feel like that's a very important part of the fight that we missed out on here. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be cleanup required here. Also, very good thing that I didn't die to that super move. That would have been even more unfortunate. Yeah, it's fine. We're probably gonna be able to clear this with a lot of teams. It was not the biggest deal, but it's still annoying. Let, let me check this out. Uh, that should say, got stun resistance or anything? Uh, no! I don't see that anywhere. Bro, let me check out the Beast Boy special too at this point. Is it a guaranteed stun? The 25% chance to affect raid bosses thing? Uh, it shouldn't be taken as that, it's kind of 25% chance to bypass stun resistance. That's kind of how this should work. But yeah, this should be a guaranteed stun, I have no idea. Probably they just left some stun resistance on her from her base character form, otherwise I can't explain this. Okay, so here we have Raiden, Dark Metal cards, we get Scorpion with God Killer, and we get Red Hood with uh, the Scythe at level 7. After this fight, I'm gonna be able to get his sight at level 8, which is pretty good. And yeah, this team should probably be fine without my boy. Right through there. But I just didn't really have any other characters that I could have added instead. I mean, I could have added Shazam, I guess. Both of those guys are arcane, so they would have gotten a bit of attack. Okay, that's fine. Got a bit of a special delay for Scorpion. But it ended up working out. Okay, we won that aerial duel there. Like, that's the only grace of Scorpion. If Scorpion didn't win most aerial duels, almost all of them, this, this would not work. And this team would not be functional.
Oh, come That had to happen eventually. There's no way we would have gotten an entire fight without that happening. Oh boy, almost lost that one. But yeah, there we go. That is Enchantress down. Let us move on. Okay, so here we have uh, Batman the Drowned with God Killer. We got General Sword and Lantern with Sight, and we got Classic Wonder Woman with Sight. Uh, so let's get this going. We're gonna fight both Batman the Drowned, and uh, since we got God Killer, we're just gonna constantly keep her in an infinite combo and watch her damage constantly increase because of the mechanic of this boss. I was thinking about saving Batman the Drowned for Grodd, but she's just so great at this fight, specifically. And uh, if we go up to the next tier, we can still have enough fights without actually having to fight Grodd. So I think I'm gonna fight Grodd tomorrow also with Batman the Drowned, but for now we can definitely use her here. Right now, I'm waiting for both of us to have super move. So make sure the passive is active when I activate this. Okay, you will die probably. Oh, yeah, we got the god tier attack reduction. I forgot. Oh boy, look at that combo interruption. Yeah, right now our damage is not enough to kill her, actually. It's kind of on the lower side of things, but I hope as we get more damage buffs, that's that's gonna change. Definitely like the purple effects. I think they did a relatively good job with that. Here are all the way up to 23 mil per second. But this is not looking the greatest. We're at the half point of the fight. No, actually she's close to half health. And from now on we're just gonna deal more and more damage. I think we're fine here actually. Got four damage buffs. Doing a decent 25 mil. Didn't really add Robin King here just to simplify things though. I could have at the same time just played Puppet Robin King with Batman on the ground, then just totally ignored her mechanic. And I mean we're not interacting too much with her mechanic, it just happens. But yeah, the damage increase is actually kind of on the lower side of things. Like every single time we get a damage buff from her, the uh, uh, hazard dot damage increases with something like 500k which is not a value to laugh at but on the grand scheme of things is not that great are we even gonna kill her though yeah i think we don't kill her i think this is also gonna require a little bit of a cleanup fight well that's unfortunate i was definitely expecting a kill here I guess I overestimated this. But yeah, let's move on. We got Grog here with Beta Club, but that's gonna be just to activate the Puppet on Mr. Freeze a bit faster. We're mainly gonna use Puppet Mr. Freeze here. I also dropped the Brainiac in there. Yes, after this we have only one more fight and I have Raven plus Constantine, so that's definitely what we're gonna use. So none of those guys are needed anywhere else, so we might as well just uh, juice up Mr. Freeze. Or more like make his life easier, because he doesn't really need to be juiced up for this. He's definitely got enough damage. Okay, we're gonna super move here. And after you activate infinite power, you kinda struggle getting the rest of the Mr. Freeze passive stacks, because power generation is gonna be slower. Because everything every time you do a special two is gonna stop, but since we got bring a grog, we're kinda generating power on hits, and I just go here. Whoop! Super move! That's 10 more stacks. 
super move. That is Denimorph stacks. And here we have a uh, 30 second Mr. Freeze. Which is gonna finish this fight shortly. Oh boy, I got so lucky with the Tagans. I think we get only one damage buff from her and three uh, uh, increased incoming damage. But yeah, there we go. Let's take a look at the rewards we got for this one. Oh, we got Classic Wanderum, and I, I'm pretty sure I have her maxed out, but this is by all means not a bad drop if I didn't have her maxed out. Yeah, we're actually not gonna use Constant plus Raven, because all the fights here are heavily inconvenient. So first up, we're gonna... Wait, what special does she disable? The third special, that's that's fine. But yeah, we're gonna use uh, Raven here with Dark Metal cards, King with Beta Club, and then we're gonna go ahead and have a Doctor Fate with some passive stats. This should be enough damage, hopefully, and hopefully we can do enough crits. Like, this whole tier of bosses is so annoying, because they all have something that's kind of messes in one way or another with a lot of the teams. There's Chaos Tagging on uh, Sir Banshee, so we can't do that. I guess I could have done Sir Banshee, because I still have Harley, and we could have just put Harley in the team too reflects the stuns or have a chance to reflect them at least there's extend tagging on uh, boss bane which is manageable but since i'm gonna use beta club king plus raven i might as well just use it on a crazy annoying fight and then there's this with disabling the third special and it has crit resistance and it also a catwoman which is a particularly annoying type of boss just gonna speed run these stacks. You might as well super move too. I don't care, I'm not getting all the damage. Usually you should do it after you're fully stacked with King to get all the damage from it. But here, that's not the focus of this fight. That's not how we're gonna deal our damage anyway. And we like this whole discussion is irrelevant because that was only one stack away from full stacks anyway. But yeah, what sucks is that she's gonna get herself removed from the corner eventually when she does her super move. Okay, this is doing pretty damn good damage. Dark Metal cards is gone, so we're gonna tag out. Okay, that was not the crit. That was not the crit either. I'm pretty sure that wasn't the crit either. Bro, we're, we're kind of killing her with not- Oh, there, there is some crits. That's that's the damage we want to see, but we're low-key kind of killing her without critting here. Funny. But yeah, those are some nice crits. And yeah, that's over. Let's move on to the secondary count. Oh boy, here we are again, here we go again, hopefully this is gonna go better than yesterday. Uh, and this time I have not forgotten to remove the gears from John's Rogue Lantern, so he should die faster. And yeah, let's finally kill this man, this has been crazy annoying. Get back off a bit. Don't hit him. Okay. Now this guy's gonna get hit. Oh, look at how fast he's dying. A lot faster than yesterday, that's for sure. Though he probably still will take more than one tag in to die. Or not if we're lucky. Would have been great to get classic Wonder Man tagged here, but it's it's fine. That's all your super move. That needed to be done anyway. Come on, tag class. There we go. Why it took so long to tag her, boy? I hate it when those timers fluctuate. Like, Batman the Jones. 
look at this. Look how fast Classic Wonderman gets tagged out, but Batman the John stood there for ages. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. And now we got two minutes to kill this man. Let's do the corner push here. Uh, my bad, though we should be fine. This god killer is reducing his attack by a lot. A lot of the times until they get to the corner, whenever there's a miss input in the combo, or maybe I mess up, there's gonna be a chance the enemy escapes. Yeah, now we got him. And I definitely think we have enough damage. We're gonna get one full activation and maybe pop an activation out of our passive. In the time that we have left and that should be enough. Hopefully. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough. Oh boy. There's gonna be at least one more fight against this man. Ah, uh, how much is there left? Uh, can we do this with Black Adam? Probably. Okay, let's give that a try. Okay, so here we have uh, Power Girl with the side equipped and Black Adam. I think I'm gonna start with Black Adam because when Power Girl tags in, he'll most likely have enough uh, power for a special one and kill her, hopefully. And yeah, I really hope this is gonna be the last fight against Girl because I'm so done with this man. I don't even remember how many fights this took. We can do a special one that's only gonna add burning. Back off, we don't... Uh, we don't want him to be using a special one. Full rip. I'm just hoping that Power Girl will get killed in this tag, and though it's kind of unlikely since he already used the special one. Come on, come on. No! Damn it, Grods. I can't use any specials now. Because um, they are gonna add the next negative effects from Puppet, which is uh, special disabled. You missed some of that. Though, I think she's getting killed. Okay. Let's go. Push him to the corner. Might as well use super move too. Just keep dropping those third specials in there. There we go. That is Grod finally down, ladies and gentlemen. I do not want to see this man again on the secondary account, at least on the main account. It's more chill, probably. We're, we're gonna get there tomorrow. Okay, so here we have um, Harley with Crown, ETI with um, Sight, and then we have um, Flash with uh, level 1 um, Sight. I'm really not about using League of Arky here. I mean, this is gonna work, but then we're gonna have to fight um, 
Platinum Collapse with uh, Raven plus Raiden most likely, and I'm not sure how well that's gonna go. Better. Okay, we got her stuns. But again. Okay, let's chill here, because she's definitely got a damage to kill me if she wants to. And we got stun here. That's fine. Okay, we got enough power. Let's get going here. Really hoping we get those early power refunds that I didn't get yesterday. Oh, that's great. No power refund here. That's the first one we don't get. Oh, again, no power refund. Bro, just, just wait for it. It's gonna give me all the power refunds I need whenever I don't need them anymore. Whenever it's the last minute or even the second minute when we generate power fast. Just wait for it. Boy, she's fast. She's a lot faster than I'm expecting. Okay, let's just do a special 2 here. Okay, another special 2. Can we power refund here? There we go. So this is the last minute. Would have been a lot more impactful getting those in the first minutes. This is the second minute, not the last minute, my bad there. Okay, we're getting some power refunds here, that's fine. I don't really need them in the second minute, but they are nice. At least it's not the last minute we're getting them in. Might as well super move, I guess, to get a little bit of a damage increase. Though that's that that, that was a mistake. Now I tagged them to generate power, and now if I get stunned here, I'm gonna probably die. So I didn't get stunned, I stun resisted. Not sure where that came from, not sure if we got some talents on Harley with stun resistance or some random bonuses on the crown, it's either one of them. Oh, I don't think we're killing this. What I'm hoping to do here is get this low enough to the point where um, Batman Ninja thing can clear it. But yeah, Harley's really struggling with this fight, and I think part of the reason is that uh, Sir Bench's gear set is gonna give her maxed out defense without any bonuses on the gears, and that might be present here. I always had this theory about the Sir Banshee bosses being fortified without having the fortified modifier, and the Harley on the secondary account doesn't really have that much armor pierce on the talents. Okay, so... Ah, that's gonna be rough for Batman Ninja Team. Okay, we got Joker here Joker. with puppets. Gorilla. And the other two guys with these sides for passive stats. Let's get this going. We don't have to kill her, because I do have two more fights after this, so it means we do have an option to clear this with some cleanup team, though I'm not sure what I have left at this point. And then still have Raven Raiden available. We missed the burning, which sucks, but we got the blind. I, I don't care about the burning, we're eventually gonna apply it. The blind is a lot more important. Might as well super move. Though could have done it at the same time with her, because Puppet Joker can't really prevent people from super moving. So I think I can definitely stay in the fight for the super move. I don't think I'm gonna die. Oh boy, what is that damage? I got extremely close to dying actually. Now she probably can't kill me because I'm constantly gonna reapply that blind. But boy, was that a close one! Yeah, whenever I, I tag out Joker to tank with somebody else and that person takes like... 20% of their health equal of damage is because I fear situations like this where randomly she deals damage despite all the attack reduction we got on her. But, oh man, that was a lot of damage. 
considering all the attack reduction. But yeah, we got her now, that's all that's important. Joker's alive, she probably won't get the chance to ever hit me again. Bro, that movement when he does a third special is kind of weird. Because he like puts the sword behind his back. But like... He passes it towards his back through his own body, or the sword teleports. That's a little bit weird. Come on, we, we need to get her very low, because again, I don't have many options in terms of cleanup teams left. Probably Pop at Zatanna is the best choice here. But we'll see how that goes. We got real close to killing her, actually. Okay, so, how much damage left? Oh, 14 mil only, that's so doable. Okay, so here we have King with Dark Mellow cards and uh, Shazam and Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate. For some passive stats. Oh boy, when was the last time you saw the classic King theme? If we didn't get stunned on Tagged, I, I, I would even use all blades here for nostalgia points. Remember all blades, guys? That artifact is so garbage now. Okay, Dr. Fate, you're gonna need to die real quick here. King is also gonna get stunned on Tagen. I, mean, I, could, I think I could have preemptively used the super move with King to lock her super move, because I think we're definitely not gonna take one more minute to kill her. Yeah, yeah, I could just have super move with King. But yeah, let's move on to the last fight. Okay, I know this team looks weird, but let me explain myself over here. This is the bet the Battle of Laughs boss that has two forms. There's one form where he takes more damage from basics and swipes, uh, but we take damage over time. And there's the other form where we get power drain constantly, uh, but do more damage with specials. And I have one of pu have Puppet Raven where she loses power because losing power will be irrelevant once we trigger Puppet. Uh, and um, then we want uh, to have Raiden when he gets increased damage on basics and swipes because the dot damage he takes is relevant since we're gonna have this guy blinded. But after super move, if one of my characters gets killed and I only have two characters to swap between, we're not gonna be able to control that. So we get a 50 50 chance the match gets ruined. So what I did there, I added my tankiest character that has a chance to survive the supernova without adding some artifact that makes him do that. And yeah, hopefully this goes well. Yeah, I, I don't have the highest hope for this fight, to be honest. But we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is the damage over time. Flash. Into Raiden, because we want Raiden to take damage over time. Oh, oh, buddy. I messed up there. Can we get the blinds? No, we get the special disable, that's fine too. The blinds 
upcoming. We need to just activate puppets as soon as possible. Please don't lose it. Don't lose it. Burning is about to expire. Using special. Oh, we didn't lose it. Let's go. Let's go. This is this is going as planned so far. Watch, watch me randomly lose infinite power or raid and randomly dying because the blind effect is not there and he's actually getting hits. We get to reset on that blind effect. Come on, come on. There we go. Uh, also, uh, yeah, I, I forgot something. He's not gonna get the super because Raiden's power draining it. So yeah, flash in there is dumb. It's definitely dumb. Bro, what? How did I lose infinite power? How do I have no negative? Bro, I have a level 8 puppet buddy. We have something like a 90% chance to apply a negative effect and you're telling me I used 4 special ones and only managed to apply 1 negative effect. Come on, get the blind. That's up next. Okay, we get the blind active. There's at least blind active right now. Okay, one more special should activate infinite power. Okay. And we got the burning. Specials disabled. Oh, can we disable his specials, by the way? Because we might be missing a negative effect because of that. Okay, we got the infinite power, which we're gonna lose in a second here. And he super moved my ring. Yeah, this... This was not gonna work. I forgot what this man does. And using pretty much... Most Raven teams, I guess League of Honor, you, you can kind of do that. It's a bad idea here. Like, tomorrow I'm gonna kill this man, no problem, because you can definitely exploit this mechanic, but... Yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, like that if you liked it, dislike if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!